It's easy to make the mistake. It's Sunday. There's football on. When a seven spot gets put up, not too shabby. Hold a team to a single touchdown. You're going to win a lot of games. Unfortunately, this was not football. This was hockey. So, yeah, not good. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Hello, welcome to Hawks Recap. Game 18 is over and done with for the Blackhawks and a blow a 4-1 lead in this one, losing by a final score of 7-5 to the New Jersey Devils in the back end of a back-to-back -back this weekend. I'm going to tell you right now, this this uh, Hawks recap is going to be a little bit different because I actually had a hockey game myself, and so I just finished watching this game on tape delay, and it's past midnight, and so I kind of want to get some sleep here. So I'm just kind of going to roll through this. Uh, not a lot of edits here, just going to cut down on editing time and run through it. So right away, first period... We've had some struggles here in the past couple games trying to get off to fast starts. We've started off slow, but that wasn't the case in this one. First shift, Anisimov tip in goal right in front. I love the traffic in front. Anisimov is pretty much right back to where we need him to be now. Really nice to see him there after a very slow start for him this season. Hawks on the board, not even a minute into this game, 1-0 lead. Miles Wood, however, would get the Devils tied in this one. The Blackhawks having to fend off two power plays for the Devils early on, both penalties caused by Seabrook. And Miles Wood just kind of stuffs it home. Tie game. However, the Hawks would come back and regain that lead with a goal from Debrinkat. And it was a beauty. It was something that was all started off with by Schmaltz. He stole the puck in the neutral zone, got kind of a two-on-two, -two, drew two defenders, got the pass over to Debrinkat, and he buries it. And the Hawks go up by a score of two to one here. Hawks get a power play a bit later in this first period, and John Ruda. Throws a puck to the net from the point, and I think it hits off somebody, but it goes in, and the Hawks have a 3-1 lead. Things are looking really good at this point. Shortly after that, puck is bouncing around in the offensive zone for the Hawks, and Carroll just kind of whacks his stick at it. It hits off a Devils player and in. 4-1 lead here, and that was basically the peak of this game for the Hawks. A lot of weird bounces, especially in this first period. It would come back to bite the Hawks a little bit too later on. Miles Wood, though, like half a minute after that, would get the Devils their second goal to bring the score to 4-2 to two after one period. First period, kind of a track me. Could have easily been 5-3, to 6-4 type of period. I mean, Sharp hit a post. We had numerous other chances that just didn't go in. You know, the Hawks played really well in this first period, and that was great to see. They get the lead going into the second, but the second period is where it just kind of melts down for them. And it, it wasn't necessarily that they did anything absolutely terribly wrong, but they made some mistakes, some turnovers in the defensive zone, the neutral zone that got the Devils back into it because they capitalized it. They're a fast team, talented team, and they just buried their chances. Any Green getting it started three minutes into the second period, then he sure, the rookie, 18-year-old, ties the game up six and a half minutes into the second period. Taylor Hall would get a goal crashing to the net from the side past Crawford, I think five hole that was. Then Brian Gibbons getting the Devils a two goal lead with his eighth of the season. Just some weird bounces as well that kind of created those turnovers for the Hawks and got it past Crawford. Crawford obviously just did not have his A game in this one. If he does, if he plays like he has been the rest of the season, at least early part of the season, we win this game, but he just wasn't on, and it, it cost us. 
Patrick Kane would get a power play goal two seconds left in this period to cut the lead to six to five. And that was a big goal right at the end of the second period. And it looked like maybe the Hawks could swing momentum back in their favor for this third period. So Coach Q started the third period, pulls Crawford, puts in Anton Forsberg, who played the night before in the front end of this back-to-back. -back. Not something you want to do. Crawford obviously didn't have his A game here. Obviously, six goals in two periods is far from a great game. But it didn't seem to have the desired effect for the Hawks because the Devils were basically jumping right in the third period and the Hawks were struggling. They were scrambling on defense here. Devils with numerous good chances. They get a power play and two minutes in, they extend their lead to seven to five. And that's where the game would end up being. But the Hawks actually had a lot of great chances in this third period. I don't know how they didn't capitalize more. They, they had five goals in this game. Could have easily had seven, could have easily had eight, could have easily had 10. They had a lot of good chances. I mean, you look at the stats, they had 44 shots on goal. 44 shots. Oh, and by the way, New Jersey Devils, they had 29 blocks. So that's 44 shots. And then in addition to that, 29 blocks. That could have been shots. The Hawks offense looked really good and looked fast and they could have, like I said, they could have easily had seven, eight, nine, ten goals in this one. Their defense gave up 38 shots to the New Jersey Devils, but a couple turnovers and inability to get out of the defensive zone really cost the Hawks because the Devils, they're a fast team and they capitalized. They made the most of every single chance they had and they won this game because of it. Nick Schmaltz, Alex DeBrincat, unbelievable games from them. They looked unreal. Just absolutely fantastic. Created numerous chances just by themselves. It's unfortunate the Hawks had a really good chance to bring home four points from this back-to-back. -back. Obviously, they had the 4-1 lead that they blew. Ah, Just something, just a game that you wish you have back because... Man, after getting that comeback win the previous night and then having a 4-1 lead, really winning these two games like that would have or could have really sparked them onto something great. I mean, this offensive performance was great. Defense was not too good for the Hawks, but offensively, we've been looking for a spark. We've been looking for the offense to get going. And if Crawford can get back to playing the way he was playing, we continue an offense of effort like we did, shore up some things on defense. This is the type of game, type of effort, that can win a lot of games. So, yes, I am disappointed by the result in this one. Obviously, you can't blow a 4-1 lead at home. But... They look good, and I'm excited to see if this continues, if this offensive performance continues, because if it does, we're, get, we're getting back to how the Hawks looked in Game 1 and 2 against Pittsburgh and Columbus of this season. And that's exciting. That is really exciting. So, a bit subdued, but there's hope. So I'm not too pissed. I'm disappointed, but I'm hopeful for the future here. Once again, I'm sorry about the way this video is kind of rushing through a lot of things here, but you know, I saw the I saw the score when I left the rink tonight and it, I was disappointing especially watching it then and seeing them get off to the 4-1 lead just I wanted to be excited, but I just couldn't because I knew what was happening, but once again, Apologize. I hope you bear with me here because I just want to get some sleep right now. <laughs> but I'm getting this up as soon as I can because I appreciate all you guys who will watch and I want to get this up right away for you to digest a little bit and discuss because, I mean, there's plenty of things to discuss and I'd love to see your reactions to this game down in the comments below. 
that might be where the majority of the content of this video actually is. I actually hope that it's the case, but we'll see. So thanks for watching this episode of Hawks Recap. I really hope you enjoyed it, at least to some extent. I won't be doing these types of style of videos all that often. It's just kind of a special circumstance here. But let me know your thoughts on the game and the team's effort down below in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, lay into me if you need to. But like, share, subscribe, do those YouTube things if you want. But most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.